Hi, my name is Russell. I'm a librarian at the University of Alabama. This video will give you a glimpse into the mobile app for Mango Languages. If you're looking for a basic introduction to Mango, including how to set up an account, check out our Personalize Your Language Learning video. A link is located in the description below. In this video, we will cover how to link an existing Mango account to the mobile app, how to navigate through language lessons on a mobile device, how to use the autoplay feature, and we will learn which features are present in the mobile app and what features are excluded. Let's start by opening the app. Mango Languages is available for both iOS and Android devices in the iTunes and Google Play stores respectively, so any features we cover should be available regardless of your personal device. When you have the app opened, you will be prompted to sign in to your account with an email, username, or mobile PIN. If you use My Bama credentials when creating your original Mango account, you should be able to connect thanks to the access provided by the University of Alabama Libraries. In the Mango app, you can choose a language by swiping and scrolling through different options. Every language that is available on the Mango desktop site is also available in the mobile app. When you choose a language you want to learn, you have the ability to start where you left off or pick a lesson and chapter from a different unit. You can also switch to the specialty courses as well if your language has them. Now let's navigate through a Mango lesson. Each lesson starts with an overview of goals. Just tap each heading to view what the specific conversation and grammar goals are. Swipe right to advance through the lesson. Now lessons consist of audio conversations that form the basis for vocabulary and grammar practice. You can swipe through the lesson at whatever pace you see fit. To practice vocabulary and pronunciation, Mango will present you a sentence like this. Su equipo de basket favorito. You can tap on each word to hear and see how it is pronounced. Tap the speaker button to hear the phrase in its entirety. Su equipo de basket favorito. You can also record yourself saying a word or phrase to compare yourself against Mango's pronunciation. Press and hold the microphone button to try it out. In the Mango mobile app, you have the ability to change the format of a question. You can either have this timer format, or you can go into settings and select the multiple choice format. If you're in a situation where you can't use your hands or can't look at the screen, say driving a car or cooking a meal, you can use the autoplay feature. Autoplay advances through a lesson automatically without swiping or tapping. Instead, Mango will prompt you to say certain words or phrases and then Mango repeats those words or phrases regardless of whether you can participate in the moment or not. Here's an example. Now, how do you think you would say, it happens? Pasa. Nice. Now practice saying, what? You can adjust how frequently you want the speakers to repeat words as well. Although the Mango mobile app has all these interactive features, the main difference between the app and the desktop version is that it does not have Mango Premiere, so you won't be able to stream movies on the app. However, your progress on the app will sync with your account as long as you have an internet connection. You will be able to take lessons in the mobile app and view that progress over time on the Mango desktop site. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. If you have any further questions on using the Mango mobile app, you can email me at rtpeterson1 at ua.edu or visit ask.lib.ua.edu to ask a librarian.